not John this time. No! Not John, I'm Emma. It seems like ages and ages and ages and ages since we've, we've been together. Well, not actually, it's just ages and ages and ages since we've made a video. Now we are here. We've actually seen each other for a while. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. But now we're here, and we actually have time to make a video today, unlike previous encounters. And we're going to talk about this. China tea. Pooer. And that's pretty much all we could actually tell you about it because the only stick part of it that's in English is the import sticker. You can take five grams of tea and pour in boiling water, keep covered for about five minutes, then serve. Yep, it's got. I remember having some really good translations on it. No, no, here it's, here it's uh, the very bottom line. The right conditions can be stored for a long. I like it. I like that. That's the best before. Yeah, yeah, the best before in right conditions can be stored for a long. Ideal. Ideal. Right, I want it. It's been five minutes. It probably has been five minutes, so I think you should pour it. Me? Pour? What? But this is a teapot. It's a teapot. Oh, it's like pink. It is. Oh, we should pour the next one on camera. <coughs> pink, pink. That's a pink tea. Or well, it's kind of like brown, but also pink. Yeah, that's the way the brown wet. Is. It's all the colours at once. That's why you always used to make it in art class. Brown! Makes all the colours. Oh, no, I've got brown. Oh, <laughs> yeah. no. I'll mix some more in. Hopefully it'll not be brown anymore. I hope so, brown. Oh, no, brown. <sighs> I like that. I like brown. That was going to be sad. Yeah. It's like, oh no, I've accidentally put red in the blue. Oh no, now there's some yellow in there. Brown! We should probably explain that this is a poo or a Smells like leather. I bought it in a Chinese supermarket. I can't remember what the Chinese supermarket is called, but I will leave a link if I can find it. Or just a link to Street View if I can't lift it at a website. <coughs> but it's the one that's near Glasgow Central train station. Nice. Or one of the ones that's near Glasgow Central train station. So, it's probably smaller and more expensive than other ones, but very easy to get. Uh -huh. And this packet of tea cost five pounds. Five pounds for this. Which, at the moment, it looks bigger than my head. It is. Um, yeah, it's poorer, but it's loosely poorer. You should show the leaves. Well, I was making it big and small. You should make the leaves big. <gasps> it's loose leaf, not a little like um, you take of tea. Unusual. Yeah, well, for higher quality poo, it's unusual. Um, or more unusual. And it's quite high quality poo, although it's not really strong enough yet to properly taste. So it tastes <laughs> like pink water and tastes like pink water. Yeah. Although not tasted it, it smells like leather. It tastes nicer than pink water. And it does have that kind of leathery. Quality. Apparently it smells today, I've got a block nose. Oh, no. you got a block nose. you also got a big fat ankle. Yeah. For jumping on it too much. Yeah. Do you blame that on climbing or do you blame that on being in the club? Uh, no, it wasn't in the club that I did it. Right. It was before the club. No, I decided to go to the club anyway and then I just decided to come home. There were lots of climbers there. Good. So you know how you normally in a club, if there's like a roof and then higher roof, mm -hmm. and you can see like a bit of concrete mm -hmm. that makes up the bottom roof and the floor above, and it's got like a ridge and then a like plaster bit. Nobody would notice that. Most people are just like, yeah, whatever, blah blah blah. These every I saw so many people just like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you tried this edge? Yeah, I could claim that. Maybe you tried the tea now then. Yeah. Someone put a coat in a pot and put water on it. In a good way. <laughs> I can't actually like parse that sentence. Hi. I don't it's a rain. I don't understand. Somebody put a coat. In a pot. In a pot. I put water on it. <laughs> I put water in on a it. good way. <laughs> okay. Now I'll have her hair. It's like making tea from another jacket. Instead of tea leaves. Okay, I thought you were talking Whoa. about what happened at a club yesterday. No! 
<laughs> talk about if somebody made tea out of a leather jacket, this is what it would taste like. That's fire. Like, yes. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> In a good way. Good. <gasps> okay, what was it? Not page clubbing. Now. Not clubbing. I'm just like, what goes on at Clybris Clubs? <laughs> It's like a big pot with jackets in it. You know how DJ is like, just like, mm. he's like, that's pretty good. My, really, my favourite type really of DJ easy. is the, um, done a playlist on, on my phone already, DJ. Yeah. Just stand yeah. Sit like this on the phone, just like checking Facebook. Oh, look at Bouncy. Oh, no. oh, yeah, yeah, they're gone. Back to checking my phone because all I have to do is stand here for three hours while a playlist plays on iTunes. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Oh look, I've chosen songs that are all the, all the same tempo already. And it's got an auto-fade feature on the player. <laughs> hey! Done. Uh, I'm old school enough that when I took classes in electronic music, I actually learned how to um, do the, the lining up with actual vinyls. Nice. You're going to look up that class at the Gallic College. Yeah. It probably won't be run by the same people. Maybe. <laughs> Moby at the Gallic College on Sky. Yeah. That'd be awesome. I'd love that. I would go to the Gallic College. Actually, University of the Highlands and Islands now. Is it? Yes. Uh, when I was there a for a one day course, it was, uh, <laughs> it was just the Gallic College. Yeah, but now it's part of the University of the Highlands and Islands. Just in case anybody thinks I'm really smart, the course wasn't in Gallic, it was in English. At the Gallic College. At the Gallic College. <laughs> Yeah, this it's not really strong enough yet. Totally strong enough. I like to, water like, with stuff in. I have to leave it for like another couple of like ten minutes or so. Oh, another cup. Ten five minutes. I know, but it lied. It lied to us. I mean, it lied to us. It possibly also said to use more tea and less water. Five grams. Five grams. Then that's probably in like five grams. Yeah, in a pot, and it's a Chinese pot, so it's probably that size of pot. Keep far for about five minutes now. It's lying. It's lying. I mean, it's lying to us. Lying. But look, it's got swirls on it. How can it lie? Swirls. It does have swirls that you won't be able to see over the noise of the camera. Sad time. Oh, you can sort of see them now. Swirls. should also say that the main reason we've not been able to do TV days recently is because you've been busy writing a dissertation. Yeah. <sighs> that. Finish in a few weeks. How long do you have? Five weeks. Five weeks, that's ages. Five weeks. Five weeks. And, and uh, for how many words? Well, I've got 9,000, I need 15,000. You need a total of 15,000, you need 15,000 more. Total? Total 15,000. That's fine then. Yeah, but I'd so, like to make like, my words less boring. Well, like you've got another week to write 6,000 words, easy. Or and then, minimum 4,500 words. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then four weeks to edit the shit out of it. Yes. So that sounds fine to me. Yeah, no, that's why I'm like not stressed out today. Yeah, that's why I have a tea video. Didn't do any work yesterday. Well, it's the weekend, isn't it? It's a Sunday, so yeah, yesterday was also the weekend. Yeah, that accident. We didn't do that much on Friday either. <laughs> well, and I do work during the week. Yeah, just make sure you get six sound words done. How many days work do you? That's fine because you can write two. Like what I was going to say is typically shifts. two sound words is what I expect to write in a day. Gross, that's loads. Mm. Really interesting though. Eco psychology. That's pretty interesting, yeah. Eco psychology. Lots I've... of people don't know about eco psychologists. They're like, pa, the self. Self, self, self. And you're like, no, no. we're talking about the self. They're talking about everything. Shut up, psychology. And eco psychology is like, yeah, how do we relate to place and stuff? And how can we create a self that connects with everything? It's like it's like an Iron Heart Huckabee's The Blanket. Yeah, yeah. I want to watch that again because I remember The Blanket, but I don't remember the film. Yeah, it's, it, there's nothing else in it really. To be honest, the, <laughs> that's blanket. What I was the blanket is the only part that's worth remembering <laughs> because I could bring it up and discuss this about UK psychology. It was a good blanket. Yeah, it was a good blanket. Everything is connected, Everything like in the is. blanket. Yeah. When I watched it when I was like twelve, I was like. Pfft. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, the blanket. Shit, man, I'm going to hippie. That's not really a hippie gesture. No. Although metal did grow out of the hippie movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can trace it back to like the initial heavy metal bands were like Iron Butterfly, total hippies, and that sort of like grew into like um, Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath. 
Mm-hmm. And then it came. And that's why a lot of the um, heavy metal iconography with like long hair and stuff is very similar because it came from hippies. It came from hippies and gay bondage. Because all the leather. yeah, all the leather and stuff, all the leather and studs and things came from gay bondage, and that can be traced directly back to Rob Halford from Judas Priest, who was at the time a closet homosexual man, but he wanted an excuse to wear a lot of gay bondage gear, and so he just sort of brought it into his band dynamic. Um, but then later on, he said, "Actually, I'm a great big homosexual, and uh, I just wanted an excuse to wear gay clothes." But by then, other people were doing it. But by then, it was like 20 years later, and it had just become part of heavy metal. So, (laughs) heavy metal fashion is largely a cross between hippiness and um, gay bondage, which, you know, would probably upset some of the more bigoted um, members of the heavy metal community, but I, for one, um, I'll fall both of those things. Cool. Yeah. I don't particularly want to be involved with either of them. (laughs) No. Yeah. No, I don't want to be involved in the I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly happy for them to happen elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, dirty hippies pulling <laughs> drum circles. Drum oh, circles. There's something so irritating about drum circles. Is it this mug look? Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's the fact that everybody's like this. It's not so much smug, it's just I don't know what it is. And also the fact that every party I had or went to as an undergraduate at some point would spontaneously form a drum circle and we'd just be all like, oh no, a drum circle. <laughs> so I'd be sitting there with a djembe. Quick, break it up. <laughs> yeah, you need your water spray. Oh, drum circles. But that's your fault for living somewhere with a djembe. Yeah, we, oh, we had a and bongos. And yeah. Jambies are the worst though, like bongos and congos, they're kind of acceptable. But like when somebody's got a jambi, you know, you're like, oh. <clears throat> Some people just go to find themselves. Yeah. And end up finding lots of beads. Wouldn't it be, yeah, exactly. You didn't find yourself, you found beads. Beads. If you have to like go to like Cameroon to find yourself, then you must have a really, really rubbish, tiny personality that's hard to find. And self-centred. And self-centred, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went to Cameroon not to experience the culture or the people, but to find myself. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so centred on myself. Yeah. I don't mind going to Cameroon. No, just going like to Cameroon it, but... to find Cameroon, that's... Yeah. yeah. Look at home <clears throat> to find yourself, where you are. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, this tea. <laughs> 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 um... Still not strong enough. Like it's nice and all, but it's not got to the point where I'm like, oh yeah, that's good. That's good poor. It's nice poor. I like it. I also like this mug. I mean cup. Yeah. Well, it's actually, sweet, look, sweet. look, we're drinking matching. 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 What? That's unusual. Yeah, it is unusual. We match. The pot matches. Everything matches. Everything matches. Yeah, it's pretty good. We we actually we've not used this pot before, have we? Not in this. No, I very rarely use this pot. Oh man, I was in a charity shop the other day. Mm-hmm. And I saw a teapot and milk and sugar set that I quite liked. Mm-hmm. It was a fiver. Mm-hmm. It was like a vintage 50s set. Metal. Sort of almost like Pico Ware, but not Pico Ware. Because Pico Ware is so ubiquitous now that. And we're ready, really so. So. But anyway, so I bought it and I got home and I was like. Really? Did I just buy another teapot? <laughs> so I ended up posting it to some people that I know that don't have a teapot. That was nice of you. Well, yeah. It didn't cost very much, so... I like surprise post. Yeah. I wish I had more surprise post. It's good, isn't it? Maybe I'll find all my friends' addresses and send them things. Yeah, it's pretty good. The thing is, quite a lot of people I know now live abroad. Yeah, but what you can do is order Amazon. And then order Done. it to them. Yeah. Um, and then if you order it from the right place, then you just pay local postage. Genius. Because I sometimes do that, if they like, just randomly order Amazon for people. Nice. Anyway, my tea is finished. I think we have out of the seedness, haven't we? Yes. Oh well, that was an interesting part of tea. Should yeah. we actually sort of talk about it and say what it was? Oh, I finished it. I can't talk about it now. Okay.
It was poor, it tasted quite like poor. We didn't really uh, get strong enough. Jacket, delicious. Tasted like somebody made tea out of a jacket. Yep. In a good way. Like, you know, a big sweaty biker. And I wasn't talking about clubbing when I described that. Yeah, and Emma wasn't talking about clubbing. Anyway, we talked for a long time. Bye.